Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shonis and welcome back to Simply Nikla. Today I decided to do a fun nail tutorial that is spring inspired and something that I've just been wanting to do and um, I just want to do a nail tutorial today. So that's what you're going to get for this week's video and you might even get another video this week as well so look out for that. But other than that, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like as well and let's get started with this video. So for this week's nail tutorial, like I said, I'm going to do something spring inspired and simple and easy that anybody can do. So the first couple steps is like doing an ombre. So yeah, I love doing an ombre. So I want to do a, a vertical ombre. Uh, hopefully that direction is right. So vertical ombre this time. And I'm going to do the vertical ombre with a mixture of colors, more of like a pastel light colors. So let's get started. So for the pinky, I'm going to start with that ombre. And I chose a orange and a yellow. And the orange that I had was Salon Perfect Sweet Peach Sangaria. And that on one side. And then the yellow that I used was LA Colors Color Craze Sunlight and I applied that onto the Makeup Sponge Wedge. For this nail tutorial, since I have multiple colors and I'm going to use different colors on all of the nails, I am going to need a couple more makeup sponges than usual. Now I did about two or three dab sessions where I dabbed on the color so it's the right darkness that I want. The ring finger, I used the yellow again which is the LA Colors Sunlight and then I used a pink which is the LA Colors Color Last and it's called Love and it's very light pink. I had trouble when dabbing it with the makeup sponge wedge. It really wasn't fully uh, being seen. It still looked pretty white and it definitely looks white on the camera and I definitely had to wait for these colors to kind of really really dry before I did a second dab session. <laughs> The next set of colors that I did on my middle finger was that pink again, the LA Colors Color Last Love, and then I used a light purple, which is a simple color professional Temptus. Apply that onto the makeup sponge wedge in those vertical lines and dab it onto the nail. On the pink ones, I for sure did three dab sessions. I really had to make sure those colors are dry before I even thinking about putting the makeup sponge wedge back on to that pink and these two colors. <laughs> So the next color that I went on to do is my index finger, which is a purple and a green. So I used that Simple Colors Professional Tintus Purple, and I applied also a green, which I use LA Colors Color Craze, and it's called Lucky, and I used that light green for that. <laughs> this step session that I did with this ombre this vertical lovely ombre I did the green and a blue so I used that LA Colors color craze lucky light green and then I used Sally Hansen's set sail and I applied that onto the makeup sponge wedge and dabbed it onto my nail to dab sessions all I needed and that was my vertical ombre of different colors So the trend that I seen online for nails is like applying clouds on the nail, like <laughs> totally simple, but I was digging it. So that's today what I'm going to do onto these ombre colors. So with a white, I used LA Colors Color Last Evermore White. You can use whatever white you want. And I had a dotting tool, a good big dotting tool and then dabbed on cluster of circular shapes onto the nail to make some clouds cartoonish looking clouds on top of the nail on each of all of the nails for that's first what I did to make this cloud effect onto the nail once 
once I have applied all the cloud shapes that I want onto each nail, they become looking really cartoonish and just like white globs onto the nail. And when you look up into the sky on a cloudy sky day, the clouds are not just like point blank circle, 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 circle. It's kind of like the edges are kind of like gushing out like you know they're not there they kind of fade away at the end kind of a little bit you know so that's one effect I want to do onto my nails to make it more realistic more like cooler smoother kind of nail clouds I got a nail flat brush and some nail polish remover and with the brush I dabbed it into the remover the nail polish remover and right at the end of each cloud each cloud right at the end I kind of drag white down just a little bit and be careful because you can pick up the color underneath but you can dab right at the edge of the each cloud and it kind of gives this cloudy effect underneath it and it like fades away like um, a cloud kind of does in the sky and you kind of do that for each nail and carefully carefully do it um, and if you do kind of like mess up right underneath and like pick up the color you can just dry brush um, some more some more of that certain color underneath so don't fret about it and it's not a big deal another tip when you do the clouds um, I did this at the end and I don't think I filmed it or not but I did at the end just point blank circle 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 clouds if you kind of like drag out the white just at the tip at the ends of the tip of the clouds like drag it out on one side or both sides it really made that effect of the clouds on my nails and I'm really happy with that effect so if for you a tip and if you're not happy with that cloud shape you might can do that and it'll be more more perfect you will see it when I like put that top coat on and it looks perfection once I did all of that I fixed up all the mishap areas and it was time for a top coat and this is one easy nail tutorial so my favorite top coat that I use to apply on my nails and to seal the deal was my favorite and it's called the Pearl FX Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat. So you guys, how you like my vertical ombre cloud nails, a spring feeling type of nails that I did this week for you guys? I really love them and I think they turned out pretty cool. So if you really like them, go down below and give me a like for this video. I really appreciate it if you do. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more awesome nail tutorials and nail designs that you can do at home. I have a lot that you can check out right now and I will be doing a lot in the future. So other than that, go try these nails out for yourself and thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you back at the end of this week with another awesome video. Bye!